So after what after the occasion in Madrid uh, with my African brothers and sisters, the lady wanted us to, to, to speak Spanish by force, which we refused. I don't speak Spanish. I speak English. So I'm not going to go in detail. But however, my my brother Robosa and uh, uh, Kennedy get upset because she was using Spanish to be insulting us without knowing that they speak Spanish. So then. When she threatened me to call the police, then I said, call the police. So, unfortunately, police refused to come. They sent the airport security. When the airport security come, the airport security asked me, why did you call her? He said, oh, uh, he refused to stop taking pictures or videoing. He said, you tell him to stop, the water. Then he said, blah, 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 blah. Then at the end of the day, the security man said, what do you want to do now? Go ahead and give him a body pass. The lady said, no, I'm not doing it. He's not going to fly his plane. I said, oh, where? Fine. You're going to make me rich. If I don't fly this plane, you're gonna, I'm going to file a lawsuit against you because <laughs> you preventing me from flying for no reason. I don't drink. I have no alcohol. Then she said, no, we are not going to fly. He's not going to let me fly. Then the man said, okay, can I see your passport? Then I bring out my passport. Then he said, who are you? I said, I'm an officer. Then he saw the passport. Then the lady quickly told her, I said, oh, did you know he's an American? I said, are you serious? If I'm not an American, I will not fly this plane. Are you serious? I said, wow. So if I'm not an officer, I will not fly this plane. Then he said, okay, I can go ahead and check you in. I said, great. So after all what you did, I said, no, you're going to pay for it. Exactly. I said, you're going to pay for it. This is how you are treat African people. There are more the good white people. There are bad Spanish people there who are in the country. Every time they see a black man, they threaten them with police. I call police. I call police. So here with you. Then now they see a man that said, oh, call the police. So, Arriving in Rome, you can see that I have no bag, no baggage, nothing. I do wave in all the way for you. So, I think, oh yeah, man, you are coffee in here. I have nothing to bath with, I have nothing. You can see what freedom is causing me. Nothing, nothing. You may look bad, zero is nothing. No, no, no. If the computer, the computer and some other things, I have many things in those bags that is left for me, now it's missing. Arriving in Madrid, uh, in Rome, guess what he did? He took my passport. Immediately, he went ahead and photocopied my passport without my permission. I said, how can you photocopy my passport without telling me what you're going to do with it? Then he said, no, I call police. I said, oh, here we go again. Go ahead and call the police. He went ahead. He said, I'm going to put it on a custom. This, I said, what custom custom with the bag that is coming from Madrid? So this gentleman started misbehaving. I guess they wrote something on my list or whatever. Guess what? The, the Italian special police came. Italian police are the best. The best. I can hear them the way he was asking me. Yeah. So why did you photocopy his passport without telling him what you're going to do with your passport? So I can hear it. Then the man, the man dropped. The man dropped. I said, okay, where is the passport? He gave it to me. He said, why did you do it? He said, sir, he's been doing it. It's okay. Why did you ship his bag back to America without telling him? He shipped my bag. Back to US when I'm still in Italy. Then I told him, change it. I am still here in Italy. He said, Oh, you said you are leaving in a few days. I said, If I tell you I'm leaving, I'm going to uh, camp tomorrow morning. The clothes I'm going to wear, the little one left, you can see I'm wearing not too much now because my clothes are missing. So the man said, Oh, I am sorry. I said, Sorry, it's not going to do it. Sorry, it's not going to do it. You say you want to call the police. Police is here and now police is telling you you were wrong. So the police officer is a good guy. He was telling me, come down, oh, come down. I say, oh my God. So, I, you know, that is to tell you, my brother, stand up and fight for your right. If anybody tell you I'm going to call police to intimidate you, tell them to call it. There are good police officers. You know what I mean? Then I say, okay, now how am I going to get my clothes? Then he said, okay, we are not going to go back and ship it back to the hotel. You can see right now, it's after 11 midnight. They're going to pay you. A volley is going to pay you. They're going to pay for it. Now the police officer now said, what are you going to do about the bag? It's okay, we can send it to his hotel. So they said, oh, there's another flight from Madrid. Hold on a minute. I said, no, I hold on. But people are calling me, I got to go rest. I don't have anything now. I have to go on the street and buy, buy new stuff to you. So I want the world to know that this is not easy. You know what I mean? This is not easy. But I have to go through it. Now, I'm going to go to US. If they can't bring the bag in the morning, they said the flight is tomorrow night. And I was supposed to go to camp early in the morning. So I had to go look for clothes to buy. 
this is the only clothes I have right now. And today is Sunday. Yeah. So now I have to go to the stage or play a company on that one. If they send my bag back to the United States, I won't see the bag. And I have other things that I'm supposed to drop here. That some some camp that I was taking to the camp. They are in the back. So I'm just letting you all know. Let me tell you, when anyone threatens you to call somebody police, tell them call police, you are not a criminal. At the end of the day, now they not agree. Whatever I buy, police were there. I tell them you're gonna pay for it, they not agree, oh, we will pay. So you go and buy, keep the receipt. So now you see what the police have helped me to get. So thanks to Italian police department, once again, they have helped me out. So immediately the man saw it, everything, he said, oh, you know, police in the world, they take care of each other. You know what I mean? It don't matter if you are a, a jailer or whatever you are, they take good care of you. They are good people, you know, very nice people. They take care of you. Just let them know what you are doing. They will help you out. You see, once again, the Italian law enforcement agency helped me out the second time in a row. You know what I mean? So, you can see now, they say, oh, he's making a video at the airport, right? So, they walk around, they saw you, smile, go, that's it. So, thank you all. I'm going to go look for where to buy clothes. As you can see, I'm going home right now, going to my hotel. That is it. It's all about freedom, you know? So, that is it. Where is it? You can take it. Okay, so let me go over here. No clothes. The amigo came here to do a lot of things. Now I brought it there. Please, do people was I to So you see that it's not easy. You know, it's not easy to find for freedom. So now the reason why I'm doing all this. Yeah, back to the road. So the reason why I'm doing all this is because I want to stop it. Tomorrow, if they see another black man, they will think twice. They will think, oh, is this man an officer or no? That is called psychological impact. That is why you have to fight for your rights. So don't just allow people to treat you anywhere. Where are we going? Over there, over here. Okay, come on, let's keep going. Look at this uh, beautiful place in town. So, don't cover it, okay? So, watch out, watch out, okay? So, you can see, I'm gonna go home, look for a place to buy something, and use, and they're gonna pay for it, and they're gonna compensate. If they don't compensate, then I'm gonna file a civil lawsuit against them. They discriminated against me, thinking that I was an African, you can't fly. So, when they not find out, oh, American, they say, okay, you can fly. It don't make sense. That is racist. Exactly. It is pain. It exactly. happened in Spain. You know what I mean? So, that is it. Hello. So, hello. So, you can see my brother. Let me go and hustle how I can buy, <laughs> buy new clothes. My, my brother is laughing because you know that uh, it's not easy. I have no clothes to get tomorrow. You <laughs> know Hey, <laughs> So that is it. Let's go, let's go. Come on, keep going. Video, don't video this place. Look at it. I'm feeling it. Turn it around. Turn it around. Yeah. Look at it. Come on. Yeah, let's go. You can see that. So, <laughs> oh my God. Who will tell me tomorrow what I've been an amigo done? I lost it, I lost it all. Hey, that was that dead boy. Oh, ready to be one of them. Why got my baby here, my boy, where's she? Hey, you. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't believe this. They were not going to let me fly. 
I saw a boss at Kennedy. Until they see my passport and my credentials. Can you imagine that? Ha! Oh my God. I don't know why they're going away. I police in a way. You what here? A police what here? What here? Hey, she. What are you do? What are we do? What if you are in Nauru? If you are a Nigerian African, don't put your hands in any shady thing. Because if I would have been doing that, whenever they said they're going to call the police, I'll be scared. So I will lose my right. Because I'm clean. I'm 100% clean. That is why whenever they say I call this, you don't know where we are going no more. No, you want to know my God. Okay. Okay, you check in. I check the time. Check the time. Ask them. So, so if you are clean, you can do whatever you want to do, you know. You got to be clean in anything you are doing. You know. Please, I'm begging you. Try to be clean. When you are clean, you... Let me tell you. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you, Lord. I am so excited, even though tomorrow I'm still going to go to the camp. These people cannot stop me. That is what makes me happy. And I'm going to do it. Now, if I get to a hotel now, I don't know I'm going to go buy another... Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I do delay everything. So I'll keep the receipt for them. So they're going to pay me. So that bag, I know that bag is going to US. So there's nothing I can do about that. So they will ship it to my address in US. I think I put a right address. So I think so. So I put a right address on it. Dallas, Texas. So that is it, brother and sister. You see what I'm going through? Huh. Huh. See what I'm going through, please. See what I'm going through, what I'm going through. Family. Very good. So la ekuna mi mweke. Eh. Ira mena degbe. Eh. Eh, olokunu degbe. Eh, salo boa. I got more bag, more bag, man. Ekbo, take me. We know what's wrong. But I mean, if I want a dollar, yeah, you wear. Ekbo, now they wear. They come when I wear. What are you? I know what you're afraid. Now we're not worried. Now we're ekbo. Maybe the time we go to work, we have for one hour. Yeah, for one hour, we go to one hour. Hey, oh. No, salute, Basha. Very happy. Can you imagine that policeman really help me? Oh wait a minute! Yeah, record even here. Tana, you are recording. I walk in here video. Fine, you can tell me not to video you. Hey, she. Oh, yeah. Wow. So the police in Marine Bana in here. Okay, go on. Ask him. So now I'm back in Italy. My brothers and sisters in the camp. So I can do what I got to do, you know. So I'm happy. This is my second home. And the police department are really, really nice. Italian police are really good. They are very fair, you know? So, where is the boy? The other one? Is that one? Is that one going to Rome, right? Terminate. Uh, Terminate? Okay, go, 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 hurry up. Yeah. Hurry up. So, let's go. Let me go look for where to buy something. You know what I mean? Hey, I'm going to be what told me. My brother. You can see right now, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. You know, <laughs> Jesus. Can you imagine? Your man, I may be. Huh? Why are you not go through? Eh? You deny me from flying for no reason because we question you. Then, when you find out that this man is an officer, an American, then you say, Oh, you cannot fly now. Are you serious? That is racism. That is discrimination. Eh? Volley airline have to pay for it. If I get to the United States, I'm going to file a civil lawsuit, discrimination lawsuit. Let me tell you, against them, I'm going to do it. They have to pay for it. Next time when they see an African man, they will think twice. I'm a black man, I can't deny where I come from. She. You see what I'm saying? Where do like you care about? Mom, where video? So please, brothers and sisters, if you are in the camp, please don't fight.
Don't create problems because whatever you do now is going to haunt you for the rest of your life. Can you imagine? If I would have uh, anything hidden, would that be a problem? It's ready? What is it? Okay, thank you. So, uh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, brothers and sisters, let me be sure I have my passport. If not, uh, I have to go to embassy and get another one. Thanks to American embassy. If you go to American embassy right away, they give you a passport. It's not like Nigeria. Thank you. I still have it. I have this. So, thank you. So, but that does not give me privilege to be losing it. <laughs> yeah, so. Last time when I said I lost my bag, they said, oh, 419. Is it ready to go? Okay. So, call a. Uh, okay. So, you can see. They said 419. Then, after they find out my passport, everything is in it, my Nigerian passport. People quite imagine people, some people they just I don't know, they come online, they know the fact, they just want to damage you. Huh? I don't know why they do that. Huh? So, Justice Okmere, God bless you, man. We're gonna to see tomorrow. I want you all to know all the ASA community in Italy. Mega comrade professor and I love you all. So together we're gonna to change a do state, you know. Some of the good people, yeah, we're going to change it together. You know, the mega company is back in Roma City, where it all began. Even us when, you know. So that is it. I'm going to do my work, and I'm surprised people are seeing online. Please, if you want to call me, please allow me to rest tonight. You know, I don't ask my phone. My phone is 24 hours. Everybody have my number. If you have our ID, my number is right there. Whenever you have ID, you have access. Access. 100% access. You know, I want to thank my secretary. Secretary called me while I was speaking with the police. He was listening to everything. So he was on the phone until everything was resolved. Then the secretary said, okay, you can. <laughs> I want to thank you, Chief Ezoba. You have done a You have done a steady job. So shout out to you, brother. So, you know, so you can see what I'm going through here. Oh, Jesus. Yes, hello, boy. <laughs> you. Wait, wait. Uh, so, I need to go to the ticket. I need to go to the ticket. Okay, then. Okay, I'm ready. Come. Uh, so, oh, Lord. Okay, let me see who's calling me now, please. Hello? Yes. Yeah, good evening, sir. How are you? This is speaking. Comrade is, uh, Degbe is speaking. How are you? Yeah, it's me now. Is it because I say, sir? <laughs> I said it's me speaking. How are you? <laughs> yeah, you surprised. You are my sir. Everybody is, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you were shocked when I say yes, sir. Everybody, we are all, sir. We are brothers, man. No one is above each other. <laughs> God bless you. What's up? What's up? Right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Asia. God bless you, my Asia lovely people. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, justice Okbere, Okbere, Justice Okbere, right? I don't call it right, you know? So, Justice, Honorable Justice Okbere will be the next governor one day, or he will be in House of Assembly, or he will be in Federal House of Assembly. So, that man I have shown, you people need to support him. Everybody must support him. Everybody, anyone that speaks bad about that man, he doesn't know him. You know what I mean? Justice Okbere, Honorable Justice Okbere, God will bless him. He stand up for the truth. He stand up for the Asian people. He stand up for the NOJ of Uromi. Anyone that stand up for your traditional rulers must be respected. And he aim my respect. Are we ready to go? Okay. So, thank you. Eh? I'm going to be in uh, Bologna tomorrow. So, I think uh, uh, everybody is going to come down there. And uh, together, I have stopped cursing because of you people. Now that I'm not the grand patron, I cannot curse again. 
Thank you. God bless you. Yeah, bye bye, sir. God bless you, sir. Good night, sir. Uh, uh, so, mm, that is it, my brother. So, <laughs> uh, ready? Okay. Uh huh. So, you see, Rome Airport is a nice place. I love this place. When I'm in Rome, it's like I'm in home. I'm in Texas. You know what I mean? My phone is ringing. Let me oh, let me quickly answer this phone. Over here. Hello, what's up, Mama? Yeah. Yes, we are gonna get a, a, a bus now, but we're gonna go buy. We're gonna go buy my sponge, my clothes, everything. I don't have anything, so we are we are not sleeping tonight. Yeah, everything another bag again. But thank God this one. I hope it's not low. If it lost, they're gonna pay. But I don't know what is in it. So, but they're gonna pay. So, thank God this one is not train. No, it's not my fault at all. No, none of them is my fault. <laughs> the other one wasn't my fault either. So, <laughs> so don't worry. I'm sorry. So, find a place we're gonna go eat. I'll be there in about let's say about an hour, twenty minutes. Minute. Forty-five minutes. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. Okay, bye bye. Yeah. So as you can see, it said a lot of people are waiting or whatever. I don't know. He said they are waiting. So now I put them at midnight. They are still waiting. Oh, we are doing ma. So I go out. Okay, big wa. Well, I oh, be in Afghanistan. I need to go now. I'm making a boom. Hello. Good evening, sir. How are you? Mega Comrade on the phone, sir. Hey, off work, baby. Me, are here. I'm very happy. Even though we may have way, but I'm happy. Uh, yes. Right. Amen. Uh, no complaint at all. I'm very happy. I thank God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm looking for fighting the battle. <laughs> no problem. Ah? Huh? Yeah, where's he? God bless you. Hey, my son. Hey. God bless you. Hey. I'm here. I'm going to have a good time. Tonight, oh yeah, me angu, me angu ali vini angu wa sona me mati wonde. Da wa angu ali wan, wa me wan pa mume, wan wan. What was your way to seko? To seko what yeah? Seko nori ni wan wan. Nori, nori ni no wa kulu me. Kume mo ne no tama, tama do mi go ya do yi strandi. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Uh, she. Uh, I want to thank my brother, my brother in uh, Sweden. I want to thank my brother in Nigeria. I want to thank my father, my mother, everyone. I want to thank every brothers and sister of People Freedom Movement who have been praying for me. I want to thank everyone. I'm so happy. I'm back in Rome. So let me try and make one more trip and see how. We can together we can make a difference, you know. We're gonna do it. Trust me, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it together, we're gonna do it. With your power, continue to share, share. Because let me tell you what happened. While I was in Rome, I mean Madrid, when we had this altercation, there was one white guy, Italian guy that was watching me. I didn't know that. So when we get to uh, Rome, he walked to me, he said, What is this movement is all about? Then I told him. Then I asked him, I said, What do you do? He says he has a manufacturer, he do clothing, shoes. I said, so you have a factory? He said, yeah. I said, okay, can you hire in Nigeria? He started laughing. Then I said, yeah. I said, that is what I'm doing. I said, we are good people. Then I conversed with him. He said, okay, give me your Facebook page. I gave it to him. He checked. He was the one that were there with me. You can see in my previous video, you can see one guy with those good Italian clothes. So that was the guy. So, so, hello. Yeah, God bless you, brother. What's up? Yeah, what's happening, brother? What's happening, man? Yeah. I know, man. She. I don't I don't even worry about it anymore, man. I'm happy, man. She. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy, man. I'm happy. 
Amen, amen. She, I'm tired of this bullshit. If they want to take her back, they can take him, man. Thank you, man. Good night, man. Yeah, yeah, thank you, brother. So, uh, you see, I'm excited. I've never been happy like this since I came. I'm very, very happy. I'm very, very happy because the Lord, the Lord is with us. You know what I mean? It could have been worse. You know what I mean? So, let me talk about the Italian guy. So, he collected my page. I told him, I said, please give me your number. Let me, wait. he said he lives in Florence. Florence, right? He has a factory in Florence. So, I said, Florence. I said, okay, I have a lot of Nigerians in Florence. So he now told me that he's going to check my page, that he really want to know what I'm doing. So he want to know it, that he must contact me tomorrow. So that is how you're going to spread the news, you know. So tomorrow, if I can talk to him, maybe it's one Nigerian will go there tomorrow, he will hire him. So that is a blessing. You know, that is it. I'm going to sign out, you know. Is it time for us to go? Yes. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So I don't think they're going to let me video there. So I, lo I love you all. Good night, guys. Good night. I don't think I'm going to come online to the, tomorrow. I'm going to see you. Good night. I love you. God bless you. How about I talk to you? Who is wrong? He said, Oh, why you get to talk to you? Eh. He no joy of who is wrong? I talk to you. Who gets to talk to you? Who gets to talk to you? Who talk to you? So, la am going to talk to you. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh. Eh. Oh. Who gets to talk to you? Salut, <laughs> Hmm. Can you imagine that policeman really helped me? Oh, wait a minute, he recorded me here. Tana, you are recorded here. Oh, okay, you get video here. Fine, you can tell me not to video you. Hey, she. Oh, yeah, wow. So, I did police in Marine Bana. Ain't here. Okay, go on, ask him. So, now I'm back in Italy. My brothers and sisters in the camp. So, I can do what I got to do, you know. So, I'm happy. This is my second home, and the police department are really, really nice. Italian police are really good. They are very fair, you know? So, where is the boy? The other one? Is that one? Is that one going to Rome, right? Ten minutes. Uh, ten no, minutes? No, no, no. Okay, go, 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 hurry up. Yeah. Hurry up. So, let's go, let me go look for where to buy something. You know what I mean? Hey, I'm going to be what told me. My brother. You can see right now, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. You know? <laughs> Jesus. Can you imagine? Your man, I may be. Huh? Why are you not go through? Eh? You deny me from flying. For no reason, because we question you. Then, when you find out that this man is an officer, an American, then you say, oh, you cannot fly now. Are you serious? That is racism. That is discrimination. Eh? Volley airline have to pay for it. If I get to the United States, I'm going to file a civil lawsuit, discrimination lawsuit. Let me tell you, against them, I'm going to do it. They have to pay for it. Next time when they see an African man, they will think twice. I'm a black man, I can't deny where I come from. She. You see what I'm saying? Where do like you care about? Mom, where video? So please, brothers and sisters, if you are in the camp, please don't fight. Don't create problem because whatever you do now is going to haunt you for the rest of your life. Can you imagine? If I would have uh, anything hidden, would that be problem? It's ready. So now I'm back in Italy. My brothers and sisters in the camp. So. I can do what I got to do, you know, so I'm happy. This is my second home and the police department are really, really nice. Italian police are really good. They are very fair, you know, so where is the boy? The other one? Is that one? Is that one going to Rome, right? Ten minutes. Uh, ten no, minutes? No, no. Okay, go, 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 hurry up. Yeah. Hurry up. 
So let's go. Let me go look for where to buy something. You know what I mean? Hey, I'm going to be my My brother. You can see right now. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. You know? <laughs> Jesus. Can you imagine? Your man, I may be. Huh? Why are you not go through? Eh? You deny me from flying. For no reason, because we question you. Then, when you find out that this man is an officer, an American, then you say, oh, you cannot fly now. Are you serious? That is racism. That is discrimination. Eh? Volley airline have to pay for it. If I get to the United States, I'm going to file a civil lawsuit, discrimination lawsuit. Let me tell you, against them, I'm going to do it. They have to pay for it. Next time when they see an African man, they will think twice. I'm a black man, I can't deny where I come from. She. You see what I'm saying? Where do like you care about? Mom video. So please, brothers and sisters, if you are in the camp, please don't fight. Don't create problems because whatever you do now is gonna haunt you for the rest of your life. Can you imagine? If I would have uh, anything hidden, would that be a problem? It's ready? What is it? Okay, thank you. So, uh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, brothers and sisters, let me be sure I have my passport. If not, uh, I have to go to embassy and get another one. Thanks to American embassy. If you go to American Embassy right away, they give you a passport. It's not like Nigeria. Thank you. I still have it. I have this. So, thank you. So, but that does not give me privilege to be losing it. <laughs> yeah, so. Last time when I said I lost my bag, they said, oh, 419. Is it ready to go? Okay. So, call it. Uh, okay. So, you can see. They said 419. Then after they find out my passport, everything is in it. My Nigerian passport. People quite imagine people, some people they just I don't <laughs> you preventing me from flying for no reason. I don't drink, I have no alcohol. Then she said, No, we are not gonna fly, it's not gonna let me fly. Then the man said, Okay, can I see your passport? Then I bring out my passport. Then they said, Who are you? I said, I'm an officer. Then he saw the passport, then the lady quickly tell her, I said, Oh, did you know he's an American? I said, Are you serious? If I'm not an American, I will not fly this plane. Are you serious? I said, wow. So if I'm not an officer, I will not fly this plane. Then he said, okay, I can go ahead and check you in. I said, great. So after all what you did, I said, no, you're going to pay for it. Exactly. I said, you're going to pay for it. This is how you treat African people. There are more the good white people. There are bad Spanish people there who are in the country. Every time they see a black man, they threaten them with police. I call police. I call police. So hey, with you. Then now they see a man that says, oh, call the police. So, Arriving in Rome, you can see that I have no bag, no baggage, nothing. I do wave in all the way for you. So, I think, <laughs> I have nothing to bag with, I have nothing. You can see what freedom is causing me. Nothing, nothing. Even if you zero is nothing. No, no, no. In the computer, the computer and some other things, I have many things in those bags that is left for me, now it's missing. Arriving in Madrid, uh, in Rome, guess what he did? He took my passport. Immediately, when I heard him photocopy my passport without my permission, I said, how can you photocopy my passport without telling me what you're going to do with it? Then he said, no, I call police. I said, oh, here we go again. Go ahead and call the police. He went ahead. He said, I'm going to put it on a custom. This, I said, what custom custom with the bag that is coming from Madrid? So this gentleman started misbehaving. I guess they wrote something on my list or whatever. Guess what? The, the Italian special police came. Italian police are the best. The best. I can hear them the way he was asking me. Yeah. So why did you photocopy his passport without telling him what you're gonna do with your passport? So I can hear it. Then the man the man dropped. The man dropped. It's okay, where is the passport? He gave it to me. He said, why did you do it? He said, sir, he's been doing it, it's okay. Why did you ship his bag back to America without telling him? He shipped my bag. Back to US when I'm still in Italy. Then I told him, change it. I am still here in Italy. 
He said, oh, you said you are leaving in a few days. I said, if I tell you I'm leaving, I'm going to uh, camp tomorrow morning. The clothes I'm going to wear, the little one that you can see, I'm wearing not to match now because my clothes are missing. So the man said, oh, I am sorry. I said, sorry, it's not going to do it. Sorry, it's not going to do it. You say you want to call the police. Police is here and now police is telling you, you were wrong. So the police officer is a good guy. He was telling me, come down. Oh, come down. I said, oh, my God. So, I, you know, that is to tell you, my brother, okay, now how am I going to get my clothes? Then he said, okay, we are not going to go back and ship it back to the hotel. You can see right now, it's after 11 midnight. They're going to pay. You. A volley is going to pay. They're going to pay for it. Now the police officer now said, what are you going to do about the It's okay, we can send you to his hotel. So they said, there's another flight from Madrid. Hold on a minute. I said, no, I hold on. But people are calling me. I got to go rest. I don't have anything now. I have to go on the street and buy, buy new stuff to you. So I want the world to know that this is not easy. You know what I mean? This is not easy. But I have to go through it. Now, I'm going to go to US. If they can't bring the bag in the morning, they said the flight is tomorrow now. And I was supposed to go to camp early in the morning. So I had to go look for clothes to buy. This is the only clothes I have right now. And today is Sunday. Yeah. So now I have to go to the stage or lay a complaint on that one. If they send my bag back to the United States, I won't see the bag. And I have other things that are supposed to drop here. That some, some camp that I was taking to the camp. They are in the back. So I'm just letting you all know. Let me tell you, when anyone threatens you to call somebody police, tell them call police, you are not a criminal. At the end of the day, now they not agree. Whatever I buy, police were there. I tell them you're gonna pay for it, they not agree, oh, we will pay. So you go and buy, keep the receipt. So now you see what the police have helped me to get. So thanks to Italian police department, once again, they have helped me out. So immediately the man saw it, everything, he said, oh, you know, police in the world, they take care of each other. You know what I mean? It don't matter if you are a jailer or whatever you are, they take good care of you. They are good people, you know, very nice people. They take care of you. Just let them know what you are doing. They will help you out. You see, once again, the Italian law enforcement agency helped me out. The second time in a row. You know what I mean? So, you can see now, they say, oh, he's making a video at the airport, right? So, they walk around, they saw it, smile, go, that's it. So, thank you all. I'm going to go look for where to buy clothes. As you can see, I'm going home right now, going to my hotel. That is it. It's all about freedom, you know? So, that is it. Where is it? You can see. Okay, so, let me go over here. No clothes. The amigo came here to do a lot of things. Now I'm not in there. Please, uh, two people, I'm not in there. 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 i yeah, back to the road. So the reason why I'm doing all this is because I want to know is an American. I say, are you serious? If I'm not an American, I will not fly this plane. Are you serious? I said, wow. So if I'm not an officer, I will not fly this plane. Then he said, okay, I can go ahead and check you in. I said, really? So after all what you did, I said, no, you're going to pay for it. Exactly. I said, you're going to pay for it. This is how you treat African people. There are more the good white people, there are bad Spanish people there who are in the country. Every time they see a black man, they threaten them with police. I call police, I call police. So hey with you. Then now they see a man that says, oh, call the police. So arriving in Rome, you can see now I have no bag, no baggage, nothing. I do with me no more the for you. So I think <laughs> I have nothing to bath with, I have nothing. You can see what freedom is causing me. Nothing, nothing. You made me look bad. Zero is nothing. No, no, no. In the computer, the computer and some other things. I have many things in those bags that is left for me. Now it's missing. Arriving in Madrid, uh, in Rome, guess what he did? He took my passport. Immediately, when I heard him photocopy my passport without my permission, I said, how can you photocopy my passport without telling me what you're going to do with it? Then he said, no. I call police. I said, oh, here we go again. Go ahead and call the police. He went ahead. He said, I'm going to put it on a custom. This is what custom custom with the bag that is coming from Madrid? 
So this gentleman started misbehaving. I guess they wrote something on my desk or whatever. Guess what? The, the Italian special police came. Italian police are the best. The best. I can hear them the way he was asking me. Yeah. So why did you photocopy his passport without telling him what you're going to do with your passport? So I can hear it. Then the man, the man dropped. The man dropped. I said, okay, where is the passport? He gave it to me. I said, why did you do it? He said, sir, he's been doing it. It's okay. Why did you ship his bag back to America without telling him? He shipped my bag back to the US when I'm still in Italy. Then I told him, change it. I am still here in Italy. He said, oh, you said you are living in a few days. I said, if I tell you I'm living, I'm going to uh, camp tomorrow morning. The clothes I'm going to wear, the little one that you can see, I'm wearing not too much now because my clothes are missing. So the man said, oh, I am sorry. I said, sorry, it's not going to do it. Sorry, it's not going to do it. You say you want to call the police. Police is here and now police is telling you, you were wrong. So the police officer is a good guy. He was telling me, come down. Oh, come down. I said, oh, my God. So, I, you know, that is to tell you, my brother, stand up and fight for your right. If anybody tell you I'm going to call police to intimidate you, tell them to call it. There are good police officers. You know what I mean? Then I said, okay, now how am I going to get my clothes? Then he said, okay, we are not going to go back and ship it back to the hotel. You can see right now, it's after I pay. It's not easy. I have no clothes to get tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Now we be to Allah. You see that baby so you look You see that? Look at me. I'm no close to her. I'm going to take me. Now, I'm going to take me. I'm going to take me. I'm going to take me. So that is it. Let's go, let's go. Come on, keep going. Video, don't video this place. Look at it. I'm feeling it. Turn it around. Turn it around. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, let's go. You can see that. So, <laughs> oh my God. Who will tell me tomorrow what I've been an amigo do? I lost it. I lost it all. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ I can't believe this they were not going to let me fly I saw Robo and Kennedy until they see my passport and my credentials can you imagine that Oh my God! I don't know where they are going away. Police now, it is what he is. A police what he is, what he is. She, what are you do? What are we do? What if you boy you in a in a row? If you are a Nigerian African, don't put your hands in any shady thing. Because if I would have been doing that, whenever they said they're going to call the police, I'll be scared. So I will lose my right because I'm clean. I'm hundred percent clean. That is why whenever they say I call this, you don't know where we are going no more. No, Okay. Okay, you check in. I check the time. Check the time. Ask them. So, so if you are clean, you can do whatever you want to do. You know, you got to be clean in anything you are doing. You know, please, I'm begging you. Try to be clean. When you are clean, you. Let me tell you. Oh God, thank you, Lord. I am so excited. Even though tomorrow I'm still going to go to the camp, these people cannot stop me. That is what makes me happy. And I'm going to do it. Now, if I get to a hotel now, I don't know, I'm going to go buy another Ion Ayahue. Ado Dele, everything. So I'll keep the receipt for them. So they're going to pay me. <laughs>